kami mendesak Datuk Seri Anwar memohon maaf kepada semua umat Islam khususnya di Malaysia kerana ramai ahli-ahli yang berhormat dari perkataan rakyat telah memperlekehkan ayat-ayat suci Al-Quran di pentas-pentas ceramah mereka perkara-perkara ini dipandang serius oleh kami kerana telah me me menguris hati dan perasaan umat Islam dan juga tidak dibendung ianya akan terjadi lebih teruk lagi so was there a plastic object or not we don't know but it wasn't clear it was uh, in court just now yeah. um, uh, what are they going to call the second witness i don't know you know because uh, it's up to the prosecutor to decide uh, you know whom to call we can't dictate to them, you know, the witnesses, uh, what do they call. But uh, he appears to want to call the doctors, the three doctors uh, from the KGH. Uh, and uh, we are saying that uh, they are not to be called now, because we want our experts to be here, and to listen to the evidence, to sit in. You see, they are allowed to sit in for the purpose of observing the evidence given, and then giving us instructions, and then we cross examine. The cross-examination of cycles over? No, no, not yet. It will be uh, over by today. There is no doubt about that. So I'm at the tail end of it, actually. So in law, you've got to put our defense to the witness under the law. So I've got to put my uh, our defense to him for him to uh, sort of comment upon it. So that has to be done. And once that is done, that's the end of his evidence. In fact, the re-examination is already over. Just now. The point that you raised, that the, the fact that the Prime Minister, they all didn't lodge a report, it's a... You see, what, under what the law, you see, under Section 13 of the Criminal Procedure Code, there are certain offences. Once you have knowledge of it, you are obliged to lodge a report. Uh, unless you have, uh, you know, reason to sort of, uh, you know, contain otherwise. The burden is on you to contain otherwise. Otherwise, you are required by law to lodge a police report. And the 377C is one of those offences. C. You know which is uh, non consensual sex. And uh, uh, if you don't do it, uh, it's punishable under Section 202 of uh, the Penal Code, which says that whoever intentionally omits, you know, to uh, sort of uh, make a report and is obliged to do so, shall be punished with imprisonment, uh, extending six months, a fine or both. So what is the implication? Of the implication are very serious, because you make a, a, a serious allegation to the prime, uh, Deputy Prime Minister then, and the Deputy Prime Minister, to my knowledge, has not lodged a report. Likewise, the police officer wrote one. He has not lodged a police report either. Neither has uh, uh, the, other, the other witnesses. Tizam, you know, and uh, I think that uh, yes, uh, Muntas. They have not. So he has put them in a fix in that sense that uh, they are all liable to be prosecuted now. Well, uh, we want to sort of have a relook at it. The last time we went, we did not have, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, site of the other one, one on five two. Okay. So we have to go there. The last time we visited, one on five one. One on five two one. Uh, so the one opposite one is one on five two. two. It belongs to the same fellow. But are you saying that uh, there's some alibi there that you're looking for? Oh yes, 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 yes. Later on, I think it will be relevant for the purpose of alibi, which I'll have to put to this witness later on.